Oh yeah, she licked us earlier. Yeah, pupper puddle. <laughs> they both came in and squished all in me when I was in the middle of a stream. Tell her take it easy. Wasn't your intention to startle her? Tell her true you are Ben Mez of the Lone Wolves, and you can see she's had extensive professional training in the ancient empire. You can yep. see quality, but lone wolves, amateurs. Oh or, snap! Also, I thought you do tread on soft paws. You're snorting. I hear you. A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her. The needle still all too deeply embedded in the side <laughs> Just... of your throat. <laughs> Stuck in my throat here. The precariousness of your situation, Do you hear that? That's Jada. Undetected in the gloom of the ship. Hey, there it is. Her Holy crap. Vay buddies on top of it. Scar on her left cheek. Yep, the mic is picking up the Jada snores. <laughs> Why are you stalking that lizard? Desire to question him intensely. As for the reason, you're staring at it. You see, the scar. once upon a bad old time, a lizard cut this thing, this living scar, into my cheek. The mark of a slave. Living scar sounds brutal. Never heals. I'm free, of sorts. And I've traced that lizard here. Indorable. I intend to raise the subject with him. Point out that you are not that lizard. Pull the answer to remove the needle so you can talk to the stuff still. I'm not that lizard. Ow! Bad decision. In truth, it does not matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey. You could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. Oh boy. That makes I like how my bodyguard is just like, hmm. that what's going on here? Needle feed. Make an offer instead of killing you? Join me, yes! Uh, join me. Right, sparkle of laughter follows your proposal. <laughs> How amusing. I admit I had not seen that twist coming. I was certain the pitiful begging was about to begin. You have no idea what I mean. Did you take Make a clip something? Do it quickly. Why should I join you? I'll have to check it out. All right. So you're planning your escape. You need people with talents like her. Sooner or later, the magic of Emperor. Uh, I need talents like yours. <laughs> Don't lick that. How you do tickle me. Most of the misguided deers around here would argue such a thing is impossible. He saved her from certain deaths back in the ship. Just saying, scoff and say that nothing's impossible. Sure, you're far from a misguided deer. Uh, I'm nothing short of him, or nothing's impossible. But then again. I did think catching me off guard was impossible. Oh, it's just why you're confused? Alright, I'll check it out. Oh, little needle mine. What should I do? Push or pull? <laughs> the agony of choice. You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine, no, no, no. easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. Yes! To travel with we got Sabeel on our team. We talk to that lizard. Putting our party together, friends. I'm not quite sure the weather will save him. With a casual flick of the wrist, she withdraws the needle from your neck and smiles as if she just invited you to sit down for tea. I love let's her. Let's discuss <laughs> our respective roles then. Yes, let's do! You mean death will be playing many a round of hide and seek, so... What role would you like me to play? You're a rogue. rogue. My speciality is stealth. The quick silence of the dagger striking unseen. That said, I'm perfectly lethal wielding any weapon or magic. Mm. So, the choice is yours. Rogue is cool with me. Lead on, or better yet, let me take a lead. I'm just snorting. No, that settles it. Ow. Me. You're punching me. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Seville in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side for the moment. Yes! Seville! Let's load her up. Alright, what do you got? Four to fives? Uh, yours are better than mine. Okay. Uh, what about gear? Sort by type. Alright, here's gear. Two armor. 
That's all I can give her. That's a bummer. Really? Dang, dude. It's kind of a bummer. All right, we need a, uh, I forgot what I was just going to say. We need to sell some stuff. All right, let's read this. No, 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 not you. Go away. Read. Go away. And add to where's. Add to where's. Done. All right. Cool. We got Sabeel. She awesome. She's going to wreck some foos. All right. Now we're going to traverse back this stuff. And talk to crazy lady here. Leave me. <coughs> so this is what you can do in the game. So I have Ben Mez talking to her now. Now I'm going to control Sabeel individually. Make her hide. And she's going to steal this pants. Aha! I think that worked. <laughs> okay. Now I can switch back to him. Leave me, cop go. Do you need help? She looks you contagious. Leave me be. Just <coughs> leave. Wait, you can buy stuff from her. I think she's uh this person that does like mosquito swarm and stuff. Alright, this person's cool. We like we like the blacksmith. As you approach the blacksmith, you feel a bony hand on your arm. Can you want to speak with privately, forbidding this? Oh, I forgot about that. If it would be acceptable, I have an inquiry for this human. You will now see why Fane is one of my favorite characters. He is hysterical. So we're gonna. All right, sure. If it would not be acceptable. Well, that would render this entire conversation rather awkward. Okay, I'm gonna let Fane go ahead and talk Fane to her. Fane approaches the blacksmith and quietly speaks to her. You can't overhear much, but he seems to be gesturing towards her head an awful lot. Fane's words are quiet, but you hear the blacksmith repeat, Face Ripper, in shock. She slowly starts to back away. What is it with creeps like you and Master Niles? I told him to slither back to his dungeon <laughs> and you can get to the freak. He asked if he could have her face. Fane backs away, scratching his head. It's and he's confused. Go as he'd expected. He's lost in thought, though. She must have said something he found interesting. <laughs> he's so stupid. He asked if he wants her face for a mask. And he's confused why she wouldn't let him have it. Oh, I love him. He's such an idiot. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is oh boy. A cracks me up. Contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. And doggo. And what do you ask, sir? What do you... Oh, what are you yeah. making? Just see how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these herself for those bodyguards of hers. Boy, they're sharp. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Does she let you take some of her wares away for testing before you decide whether or not? That's funny. Uh, what Can do you got for sale? Have a look. All right, let's sell all this garbage that I no longer need. Hi, doggo. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. These can go away. You're kicking me, doggo. I don't think I need an eyeball or skull. Uh, mm. Oh, hey. <gasps> need those. We already have that. Farsight infusion elemental totem. We need this. Provides 10 magic armor. Increased damage. We need that. All right. And then we balance the scales. And then we... Oh, oh, oh. We want your lockpicks. 
balance the scales. And bam. Yes. Aha. All right, so we just got a spell book for Fane. Uh, take your leave. All right, we got a skill book. Fane, we're going to teach you a new skill, buddy. Yeah. Cool. Yes, we know. Go away. Um, now we select Ben Mezd. Isn't Losa up here? There she is. All right, this is our fourth party member. All right, you. Adorable surrounding for an Get out of here. Wait, yeah. nope. Is it an audience? You Peace you out, yo. You want to dismiss your companion? Yep. Your loss. Peace out. Pump his ass. Losa! Hey, I know you. Losa, the dark-eyed jokester you met aboard the ship, waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, I was <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube, and you were. I'm surprised you remembered that name. Ifen Ben Mezd, right? Glad to see you made it. Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? Me too. Did you hear something? When you were in the water, I mean. I see if she hears something unusual. Mm. No. I mean, not more unusual than usual. It's just, I thought maybe you... <laughs> not more than usual than unusual. Oh, I love her. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus and her whole body goes rigid. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Not your circus, not your monkeys. <laughs> Gently call, ask if she's alright. And her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black void. Oh, that's not good. Suddenly flashes back into her face. Oh boy. The gray veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. Ooh. Anyway, what will we? Also, well, you crazy, Fragger? <laughs> what up, my man? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping in. How you doing? Why oh, yeah, you didn't tell her you were discussing the shipwreck? Oh yeah, yeah. It was a shipwreck, all right. Not much more to say about it, I guess. Papa Joris used to tell me, "Losa," he'd say, "Losa, you ever find yourself in a sinking ship? Follow the rats. They'll find you a way out." Applies to a lot of situations, actually. Vermin tend to know what's what. Actually, great advice. Oh, late night, huh? Thanks for dropping in, dude. How was how was work? Ah, oh, it's nothing really. It's just I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. You're gonna have to elaborate. Waggle a rack your eyebrow and ask if she's implying you should make yourself at home. What's a rackish eyebrow? Put it like this: You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm a... a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. What's well, hosting here? How many is he hosting at the moment? What's hosting? Few moments now, ago. Isn't that just the question of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite either. Maybe a spectre, but I wouldn't bet money on it. The hell with work. <laughs> so, how are you enjoying the joy? What was that, doggo? Did the magic just hold you in? Something about being a danger to yourself, society, or. Uh... Yeah, get the ow! Get the lay of the land with. Yeah? I was just thinking the same sort of thing. Can we be friends? You want to check this place out together? Strength and numbers and all that. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yep, yep. 
<laughs> we'll just look out for the creepiness inside you. Before we head out, how's it go? A few tricks up my sleeve, so you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, when push comes to shove. Are you punching me? Lately, I've been into the enchanting arts, Morph. but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. I forget so, what the enchanter what does. Please hold. I don't remember what an enchanter is. I want to look it up. Maybe we'll just keep her what she is. I thought about making her something else. The port mage focuses on intelligence and constitution. Specializes in hydrofist and aether rouge. Hmm. Hmm. We do need heals. We might keep her enchantress. Although I wanted to make her an inquisitor. Actually, what's cool about this game is you can choose to give them a class and then not follow it at all. Um, it just affects their very starting attributes, so that's not a big deal. But they keep the look of the class you chose. So you could literally say, like, Ben Maz, I could say, hey, I'm choosing him to be a knight, but I'm going to spec him out to be a rogue. So all his armor would look knighty, but he would be, have rogue abilities. All right. Uh, Inquisitor has specialized in warfare and necromancer. Yeah. They look so cool, though. I think I'm going to say Inquisitor because the, they focus on intelligence and constitution. Oh, yeah, I have to do Enchanter because they, she would start off with different abilities and I don't want them to. These games are great. They are a heavy lift to get through, though, in terms of the time investment. Um, but we'll, we'll keep her Enchantress. So we're good to go? Yeah? Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'll do my best to stay myself. Lead nice. the way. I love Loza. She crazy, but I indeed love her. All right, uh, let's load her up. Uh, oh, she's an enchanter. All right, uh, we are going to do this, though. We're going to give her that. I sold the shield. Never mind. We'll do this for now. We'll do that for now. Until I get a shield or something. Didn't I pick up... Uh, I stole some boots, didn't I? I swear, this is going to be hard. I, I don't have any ranged uh, arrow person. They have some cool moves. Who picked up the boots? Oh, right, Sibyl. All right, equip. And then uh, Sibyl, you're going to be next. Wait a minute. Oh, they were pants. Okay. Because Seville is going to be in front lines. So we're going to have to make sure she's looked out for. All right, cool. So we know a way into the dungeon now. Uh, there's a... This. The so-called divine himself. Lucian. Uh, I thought there was a trigger. The there it is. Lucian the Divine, Avatar of the Seven Gods. Button. There it is. You hear a strange shrine by the looks of it. All right, we got a. So we got a new, an area here. Now we can actually do the side quest here. We got our full party here, guys. All right. Um. Now, what do I want to do with the full party here? I don't think there's anything. Up oh, this guy. This guy's a douche. But we'll deal with him in a minute. Or first. You. You there. You, you've just arrived, isn't that right? Are you... Are you quite alone? 
course you are talking to him. Uh, 